Welcome back. If you're looking to buy a pre-owned vehicle, there are some things that you should know about your rights and what expectations you can have with the vehicle you're purchasing. And here to tell us more about that, we welcome back Heather Clary from the Better Business Bureau. This is one of the topics you always get a lot of questions on. We do, and that's why I wanted to cover it again. I like to cover it here now and again just to remind people, especially if you are buying, we're getting close to some end-of-year sales where they push to get the older models out and have great sales. And we will get calls from people saying, well, I thought I could do A, B, or C. And you cannot because used cars are a different animal. So we just want to point out some facts. You can get an excellent pre-owned vehicle on the market, but there are some things you should know when you are shopping for it. So many people do not realize that used cars are sold as is. There is no lemon law on used cars. That's only for new cars. Uh, as is means exactly that. So once you leave with it, it's yours for good or for ill, and anything that goes wrong with it is your responsibility unless you happen to have purchased an extended warranty that covers the problem. Um, uh, there's no three-day or 30-day return period. People say, don't I have three days to return it? No, that does not apply here. Now, some dealers do offer such an option with some new cars or used cars as, a, as an incentive to come on in and see them. And if they do that on their own, great, but there's no law on that. Read everything before you sign. That's where most people get into trouble. I hear, well, I didn't have my glasses or whatever. You know, take your time. Do not let anyone rush you. It's your money. There's plenty of places to shop for a car. If someone doesn't want to do business the way that makes you feel comfortable, then maybe you want to go elsewhere. Make sure everything you were told matches the paperwork. Uh, people say, well, I was told I'd get this much for my trade-in, but this only says that much. Uh, this says it has this many miles on it, and I was told it had that many miles on it. You know, the price is everything. Make sure everything you were told is listed in there. And get the car checked out by a garage or a mechanic you trust before finalizing the deal. Uh, a lot of dealers won't mind that. They will uh, give you a due bill. You find something wrong with it, come back. Anybody who tries to keep you from doing that might be trying to hide something wrong with that car, and they know once you leave with it. And the older the car is, the more you want to do that because more things can go wrong with it. So, And check out car dealers with the Better Business Bureau and see what kind of reputation they have. Kind of shop with some ethical dealers that uh, you can trust. You can certainly save some money buying a pre-owned vehicle, but sure. you don't want to end up uh, getting yourself You're Buying a bigger problem, yeah. so just no stuff going in. All right. Right, good advice, and we will be right back with a check of a rainy Wednesday forecast up next. Jeff Cornish has a preview.